Jesus now more than ever. We are sailing in stormy weather. All his children should get together. For we need Jesus now more than ever. Sunday school. Before we start off, we need to pray. Sister, just pray in French for us, eh? French. Pray in French. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, pray in French, eh? We are praying. 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 Écouter les enseignements pour Amen. les enfants et nous sommes aussi enfants pour le Seigneur. Oh Dieu, nous, nous laissons nos cœur auprès de toi afin que tu puisses nous transmettre au Seigneur Amen. ce que tu as préparé d'avance pour euh, notre âme aujourd'hui. Nous savons que l'homme ne vivra pas seulement des pains, mais de toutes paroles qui sortent de la bouche de Dieu. Amen. Nous te remercions déjà parce que nous savons que ta parole est merveilleuse. Amen. Ta parole restaure l'âme. Nous nous attendons à toi, oh Seigneur. Amen. Nous laissons ce moment entre tes mains. Afin que, oh Seigneur, tu puisses nous nourrir et nous sanctifier par ta parole. Parce que nous savons que ta parole sanctifie aussi. Amen. Nous laissons les enfants qui vont suivre, oh Seigneur, cette histoire et cette prédication de loin entre tes mains. Amen. Afin que, oh Seigneur, ils puissent aussi avoir leur bénédiction à travers ces, ces messages. Bénis euh, euh, la maîtresse, bénis les enfants, bénis tout le monde, euh, même les caméramens, au oh Seigneur. Amen. À toi l'honneur, 
dans la puissance au Dieu, dans le précieux nom de Jésus-Christ, notre Seigneur. Amen. 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 God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Okay, today's for the school. We want to start off with uh, Jesus Jah. Yeah, Jesus Jah. Yeah, we have. I've gotten Jesus Jah money from Sammy's and family. Sammy's and family have sent in their Jesus Jah money. Who else? Who else? Who else? Yes, Mary. Mary has sent her Jesus Jah money. So we are still waiting for others. Says we want to send it as quick as possible so that I can use it for whatever will benefit the bride of Christ. So those of you that are yet to send in your Jesus Jam Jesus Jam money, please kindly do so. I will say thank you for doing it. Okay, yes, we're going to uh quiet time. Some of you have been doing your quiet time, believe. Believe and family, sister and Joshua, that have been doing what? Quiet time. Mary, I'm sure you have been doing your quiet time. And Sammy and family, Daphna and family, and as many of you that have been doing quiet time, please, can we have feedback? I know Erica, she used to do quiet time, and Sharon, please, let's have feedback of your quiet time. I um, was so impressed when I came in today, and uh, Believe's mom told me, she was she did a recording of believe and siblings having quiet time at night when they were about to sleep so let's just listen to their singing before they start praying let's see if i can get it now they did quiet time it was wonderful that they could remember to do quiet time on their own without mommy or daddy so let's listen to their singing doing so she was recording the quiet time and she sent it to me so we are happy that you remember to do your quiet time and those of you out there please you can give us feedback and we'll tell others that you have been doing your work good job let's give them thumb eye thumb eye well done yeah good one okay today we are going to talk about fruit of the spirit you can see our big board there and the smaller one there we've got a tree yeah can you guess what kind of fruit is this tree are you sure? Yeah. But in my Sunday school today, I've come with lots of <laughs> different fruits. We've got banana, banana fruits. Huh? Yeah? Yep. And somebody feel like eating banana here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got banana, banana fruits here. Yeah? Oh my, I feel like eating it. Um, we've got what? Strawberry. We've got what? Strawberry fruits. We've got what? Strawberry fruits. Let me read this out so we can see properly. We've got what? Strawberry fruits. Though we can't have all the trees on our board, but you know they are fruits. And we've got what? We've got apple fruits. We've got what? Lots of apple fruits. Apple. Who is going to eat apple after we're done? I'm sure I'm going to eat one. Eat one, one. So we're going to eat it, but now we want to talk about them. We've got apple fruits. And we've got... We've got... We've got orange, orange fruit, lots of fruit here. Yeah. Bam. And, and we've got, <laughs> and we've got, who? I've got 
red. Grapes, we've got the red one and the green one. Let me rip it out. Let's see. So our viewers can see. Yeah. Have you seen it? Are you seeing it? Yeah? Yeah. I hope you have seen it over there at home. If you feel like eating some, get some out of the kitchen and eat. We are going to talk about fruit, 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 fruit. Yes, we've seen natural fruits. Yeah, that's why we have to give you this picture of a tree. When you see a tree like this and you get close to the tree, when you see the fruits of the tree, you'll be able to identify the kind of tree it is. When you get close to apple tree, what will you see? An apple. apple. And when you get close to strawberry tree, what will you see? Strawberry. When you get close to orange tree, what will you see? Orange. When you get close to banana tree, what will you see? Banana. And when you get close to these grapes, what do you see? Grapes. Will you see something different from what is there? No. 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 You will see fruits. Mm -hmm. And fruits, why do, we, why do we eat fruits? Can you tell me? Why do we eat fruits? You eat fruit to be healthy. You eat fruit to be what? Again? Yeah, viewers, give us feedback. Yeah, those of you listening, give us feedback. Why do we eat fruits? Yes? And to be healthy and, and to have easy digestion. And to give fruit to be strong. To be strong? Hey, she eats fruit to be strong. <laughs> Let's go for her. She has said something, you know. Strong. strong we eat fruit to be healthy we eat fruit to be what again to have smooth clear skin we eat fruit to be what else give me reasons why we eat fruit those are free at home eh? and we take care of our fruit do we eat fruit that's a bad no do you want to eat fruit that is yuck no mm. do you want to use that Eat an apple that is yuck. No. no, you wouldn't want to eat that. You want to eat good, fresh fruit. Good. But today we're going to talk of another kind of fruit. Hmm? We have we have seen our fruits. But there's another kind of fruit seen in the Bible. It's called what? Christian fruits. If you are a Christian, we should see that fruit on you. It's called what? Fruits of the Spirit. It's called what? Fruits of, of the spirit. spirit and it's on what Galatians 5 22 to 23. Let me see if I can put it somewhere. Ahead. Let's see. Okay. Let me use green. Let me use let me use black here. Yeah. So we have Five, twenty-two to twenty-three. The fruit of the spirit now in the Bible is not what we eat. It's not the physical fruit. Do you get it? The fruit of the spirit in the Bible is the way you act. Is the way you behave. Is the way you talk. The way you socialize. The way you let's just use that word ah, the way you live your life if i come close to you or if you are far far off can you identify who is a christian when you see someone that is a christian will you be able to know the person will you be able to know who is a christian by the way the person behaves Hi. the way the person dress the way the person is behaving can you identify a christian yes can you tell can you tell when someone is a christian hmm? believe those of you at home can you tell when you see a christian can you say oh she's a christian who oh, is a christian oh they are christian they are christian family they are believing family they are filled with the holy ghost how do you tell when you see a christian hmm? how do you tell when you see a christian yeah believe hmm? you are still thinking when you see a christian you see the manifestation of this fruits of the spirit for you to be a christian you must have what the holy ghost in your soul and when you have the holy ghost you manifest these fruits can we name the fruits of the spirit we have what here now joy mm -hmm. 
faith. Mm -hmm. Meekness. Mm -hmm. Long suffering. Long suffering. Long suffering. Long suffering. Mm -hmm. We have peace. We have goodness. 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 Yes, we have love. We have gentleness. We have temperance. We have temperance. These are the fruits of the spirit. But Brother Branham made us to understand one thing. He said that the enemy, Satan, can fake the spirit and the fruit of the spirit. He can act as if he has the fruit of the spirit. He can pretend that he has faith. He can pretend that he has joy, meekness, long suffering. He has uh, peace, goodness, gentleness, temperance, and what? Love. Love. He said the enemy can pretend to have them, but the enemy cannot do what. There is one thing he made us to know the difference. The difference between a real Christian and someone that is pretending to be a Christian. But Abraham made us to know one difference. Can you look at this fruit of the Spirit? And tell me, what is it that Satan cannot do here? Only God can do it. Look at my board. My board is very colorful. We took our time to make a colorful fruit of the Spirit for you. So you can differentiate the different fruits of Spirit. But there's one striking one that is the enemy, which is our enemy also, Satan, cannot have. Amen. He can pretend to do this. He can pretend to have this, have this, have this, have this, have this, have this, have this. But there's one <laughs> he cannot, he cannot have. Yeah? Believe, look at the board very well. Sharon, I hope you are looking at it with your siblings. Sammy, Sammy and siblings, yes. Erica, Mary, and Daphna. Daphna and siblings, I hope you are watching. There is one outstanding fruit of the spirit here that Satan can never, never, never have. Is only for the Christian. Amen. Those that feel with the Holy Ghost in their soul. Can you tell me? Can you tell me? Huh? If you don't say it, I can't tell you. Because there's others watching. So once you hear from there, if they know too, only that maybe mommy and daddy will tell them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Believe you don't know, eh? Hmm? Sita can pretend to be joyful. Satan can pretend to have faith. Mm -hmm. Satan can pretend to be milk. Mm, but sometimes it will explode too. Mm -hmm. Satan can pretend to be having long suffering, to have peace with himself and others. He can pretend to be good, goodness, mm -hmm. and but he's pretending. Mm -hmm. He can pretend to be gentle, mm -hmm. but you know he's not. Mm -hmm. He can pretend to have temperance. When you speak roughly to him, it's calm. He can pretend to do that. But there's something, one, that he cannot pretend to have. And it's called what? Love. Hey, hey, because I'm from here, I was coming down, coming down, coming down to here, and I didn't go up there. Hey, you were smart, eh? Let's clap. Let's clap for Philip. Okay, Satan can pretend to have all these, but he cannot love. He cannot love. God is love. Amen. Hmm? Satan cannot love. Satan is to kill, steal, and destroy. Mm -hmm. But Satan is love. Oh. That we can we can quote John 3 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, whosoever believeth in him will not perish but have everlasting life. That is God. God is love. And he said, if we love him, we should love one another. You remember our question on last Sunday school? He said, this is the commandment I've given to you, that you love one another as I have loved you. It's only God can love. And if we say we love God, I should love you. You love me. I love mommy. She loves me. We love one another. The only way we can say we love God is to love one and another. Do you get it? So the fruit of the Spirit spiritually are these. Hmm? And the natural fruit, we've shown you already, but they are different, which is there's a natural fruit and it's a spiritual fruit. Hmm? So let's do our surgery before I give you homework. What to do? Let's go to, let's go to Psalm 16. 
Open your Bible. Give me Bible to mommy. Let's go to Psalm 16. We'll still come back to this topic. Let's go to Psalm 16. We'll still come back. If, if we're not done here with this, we can maybe repeat it sometime in the future. I don't know. But let's do. We didn't do our surgeries last Sunday school. I want us to do, even if we are taking three or four. Let's do our surgery. Let's go to Psalm 16. Let me open up. Psalm 16, 11. If you are there, believe. Psalm 16, 11. Are you there? In Psalm 16, 11. Mm -hmm. Psalm 16, 11. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lutes. Lutes. Have you been using this new Bible? Believe. Have you been using it? Or you're using it for the first time? Okay. Let me see. Let me see some 16, 11. This is 17. This is 16. So where to 11? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll read it. Full wheat. Holy one to see a group. Okay, let me read from my own Bible. That would show me the path of life. In their presence is fullness of joy. At the right hand, they are pleasures for evermore. Hmm? You need to acquaint yourself with this your new Bible, eh? Like the old one you just read of, but this. You are struggling a little. See that, don't worry. Okay, let's go to let's go to Isaiah 27. Can we go to Isaiah 27 now? Isaiah 27. Uh, Isaiah 26, rather. Isaiah 26, yes. yeah, 3 to 4. Isaiah 26, 3 okay. to 4, believe. Three, two, four. 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 Will we keep him in perfect place? In perfect peace. In perfect peace. Mm -hmm. Well, Whose mind? Whose mind is staying on this? Because he trusted. He trusted. He trusted in the tree. In the. In the mm -hmm. tree. It's not tree. D. In the. Mm -hmm. And for trust. Trust ye in the Lord forever. Mm -hmm. For in the Lord Jehovah is ever the same. Everlasting strength. strength. In the joy is what? In the Jehovah God is what? Everlasting strength. Okay, let's go to James. James 1. Let's go to James. Let's go to James, 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 James. James 1. James 1, 3, 4. We're running out of time. Let's make it ready. So let's just take James 1, 3 to 4. How many minutes do we have left? Do we know? Yeah, yeah, let's read it. James, James 1, 3 to 4. Okay, should I read it? Should I read it? Should I read it? Or you can read it. James 1, 3 to 4. I read 3 to 4. From 3 now. Uh -huh. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made but was made. Mm -mm. You're reading John. Let me read James. Yes. Let me read James. And let me read James. Don't worry. Knowing this, that the trial of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have perfect what work, that you may be perfect and entire, 
wanting nothing. Wanting what? Nothing. nothing. When you have patience. Let's just take one more and we finish. Let's go to Ephesians. Ephesians 4. Let's, mm, Ephesians 4. Let's do Ephesians 4. That will be the last. Ephesians 4, 1, 2 to 3. Ephesians 4. Yeah. Go, Ephesians 4. Can you read it now? Yeah. Let me see. Ephesians 4. Let's see. It's there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let him read from here. Ephesians 4. I will fall in prisoner of the No, no, no. You're not reading Ephesians 4. 2 to 3. Let me see. If you read from 2, where is verse 2? With with all loneliness Start with from all loneliness, loneliness and meekness mm -hmm. with long suffering mm -hmm. for being one for being one over in love mm -hmm. and endeavoring endeavoring to keep the united of the unit the unity of the spirit in the blood of in the peace. bond of Please. Okay, you are trying, eh? You are trying to read for me. But others need to hear what you are saying. But you've tried for today. Just keep reading your Bible. You get used to it. So let me read what he was trying to read. With all loneliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of spirit in the bond of peace. Yes. So all these are many more. Maybe I don't know if we can write it out for you to read, to read more. What well, we've done, we've done, we've done Psalm sixteen. In this case, we've done Psalm sixteen. Psalm sixteen, eleven. We've done Isaiah twenty-six, three, four. Okay, we've done James 1, 3, 2, 4. We didn't do Proverbs. You can do that at home. Proverbs 31, 26. We did not do this Psalm. You can do it at home. Psalm 107, go to verse 9. And you can still do Matthew. You can do Matthew at home with mommy and daddy. Do Matthew 17, 20, 21. We've done Ephesians 4, 2 and 3. You can do 1 Corinthians with mommy and daddy. Go to 1 Corinthians 9, 24 to 27. And you can do Romans, John, and Hebrews. There are lots of them. So you can do them back at home. So what did we say is the fruit of the Spirit again? Okay, see if you can get it. Thank you. What did we say is the fruit of the spirit? Yeah, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fruit of the spirit is what? Joy. Yeah, these are the fruit of the spirit. But what's the difference between the natural fruit here and the spiritual fruit here? What is the difference? This natural fruit that we eat, hmm? spiritual fruit. What is the difference? Do you eat this? So what do you do to produce this? Behaving. You're behaving, behaving the way you act, act, the way you live, eh? The way you act, the way you live, the way you behave within, in the house, outside, wherever you might be. This is the fruit you show if you are what? If you are Christian. I remember you can produce this, you can produce this when you have the Holy Ghost in your soul. Satan can produce this too, but he cannot do this. Satan cannot do this. Satan can never, never love. Eh? It's death that goes with Satan. God is love. So the fruit of the Spirit for homework, those of you here and those at home, you're going to do the fruit of the Spirit for me and give me definition of each. Joy, can you tell me what is joy? Faith, give me definition. Come to meekness, come to long suffering, Come to peace, goodness, gentleness, all of them. Can you give us the definition of all? And uh, you can show me on each of them whenever you have be joyful, when you have when you have faith, when you have had faith, or you're having faith for something. Meekness. Can you tell us when you're ever 
display meekness when you have displayed it or you want to display it after giving us the definition of this that is going to be your home work and those of you at home please make sure you get this down give brief definitions of each of the fruits of the spirit and give us as a challenge when you have displayed what joy faith meekness you can tell us short story wherever or we are praying to have them but you can give us brief history when you have displayed all this we'll be glad to have the feedback we want to say thank you for coming for today Sunday school I want to say thank you for those listening at home for listening but the only way we know you've listened is to give us what feedback thank you for doing your quiet time keep doing your quiet time and before we sign off now we want to give that last song some dancing, dancing, dancing. We got to run, 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 run,